Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope all of you is always well. So, after a few week, a few days, I'm not trade. I'm doing some kind of uh, analysis, and then I'm starting my trade again from this Monday, this week Monday, at twenty one November two thousand and twenty two. So. This is my first trade and I will discuss this, discuss this now to get a feedback or what I can learn and the result here was 33% winning ratio guys so 2 uh, and 3 was loss and only 1 profit so uh, let's uh, see from the first entry Okay, this is, was my first entry. Look at that. I'm entry here. Uh, the safe entry is okay. That is uh, consi consi consider safe. Okay. But the context was wrong. So the entry was safe. The, the context was wrong. The entry will get hit. Okay. So the technique I'm using here was some kind of uh, reversal because the previous candle was bullish. Okay, here and this is was a level of round number, round round number not touch. This is one devi deviation. This is a downtrend. That what I see, but what I not see was this is tentative. Uh, why the breakout is making like. Uh, reversal piercing line pattern okay and then this is uh, hammer and it's getting broken what happened and the context was still in the major was ranging this is look like downtrend but this is ranging and this is the trap of consolidation okay same like uh, consolidation that uh, I, I often facing on the trading is like this like uh, berries bullies berries and then bullies okay berries again bullies again that is here uh, in the higher time frame that is the fake out of this consolidation context so what my mistake here was i was wrong reading the context the context was major consolidation and when major consolidation uh, that's mean uh, in the minor is ranging so that could be the end of the minor uptrend uh, downtrend and start the minor uh, uptrend or vice versa uh, related to the trend itself so that's for the brief and let's see what I'm writing here Look, I'm starting with 30 point, uh, 13, which is my previous week here. Okay, and now this is the week number three, and it's lost. Okay, okay, the pattern was bullish candle with big, uh, bullish candle big with only small upper week. Okay, this is sign uh, for. Uh, that is not a sign of reversal or a bearish because it could be also a bullish because it's a big candle with only small up small upper week but the location actually is below a devi deviation bollinger band that is also influencing my brain to take option sell but but the context was in control here the major uh, sorry the major is not in control because the major is consolidation so the minor in, in control okay so what uh, let's let's just talk a little bit so here was the technique our fb all and the result was that and let's see the important things 
the most significant. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little bit sick uh, in this week. Uh, due to not correct reading of context, minor strong uptrend, okay, during ranging context or consolidation context, this is the same. Minor start by fake breakout by tentative candlestick on major consolidation. Okay, so that that was it, because we can learn now that how to identify a strong like this one. This is strong, yes, but not so strong. Okay, because the context was consolidation. So after this resulting bearish, this is should be a strong one or even here a bearish one. But what happened? It's making like a pattern. Okay, it's like harami bullish or you can call it piercing pattern. Okay, it is similar. But the problem is there is no similarity in the candlestick. Every candlestick, each of the candlestick has its different values. But I I I I look the symbol as a yes, it's like piercing pattern. So and that was success okay imagine imagine this this is a strong one that i can tell you and also me okay uh, so what is the learning learning is when the breakout it's uh, in the consolidation contact it's look like strong uh, don't do a call or a sell here okay because it's not it's not uh, how how I can say it. Uh, we very difficult to deter determine this is strong or not. Okay, it look like strong. Okay, but how if the retracement happen because the consolidation. Okay, and then we wait. Okay, so this is look like strong, and this is has to be a retracement or a strong one because it's breaking a level of course. But after after this, uh, sorry, this is not uh, this is the round number fifty. Okay, this is uh, a round number. Okay, so this is like tentative candlestick. Okay, tentative candlestick that uh, a sign of a weakness also here. Uh, and this candlestick is confirmed. But here also we not so. Uh, not so nice to do a sell option okay because this is not actually strong so we have to confirm with by this candle and bullish we should open by here because the round number will hit by this uh, candlestick because it has a gap here so uh, instead of doing a sell option like this we should and en uh, enter a buy option because we have we we understand the context was still in the major consolidation so what is the point then <laughs> the point is if we find some kind of tentative candle this is round number you see this is important also very important look at this this is round number okay Above the round number, there is a level like 14. 14 is a micro level. <coughs> you will see a 14 as a level in uh, more detail in the in the not good market. I mean a low volume market, high volume market. Okay, in the low volume, you will see this uh, 14 level like have a range like this one between this and this okay so this is round number this is 14 because low volume it will get uh, the tail okay this is this is not so nice volume also uh, because if this was a big volume why it's reverse on the level like 14 okay this is a this is really 14 why a weak level like 14 can make a bullish candle like this okay 
or why the 14 level is not broken down if this was truly strong these two candle why is not breaking this okay because this is the target and then happened this why so this is the effect of the major consolidation because we we see here the downturn is weak because the 14 uh, it cannot cross okay the downtrend is not be able to cross the 14 okay and even making this one so it absolutely will have uh, will start a strong really strong trend okay okay that's the number uh, the number one so here the message tentative candle that become fake breakout it's high indication for major consolidation in this case it was not major downtrend okay so this is not major downtrend guys uh, sorry this one this is was a minor downtrend but this is not the major downtrend this is uh, look like a consolidation so if you have a formation EMA like this don't trust a strong downtrend okay because could be it strong but it's minor it's it's short time it's not long time okay that's number one so let's jump to number two guys number two was a little bit uh, a little bit uh, tricky <laughs> okay because you see this candlestick okay upper and lower shadow same size closing at 61 <coughs> and <coughs> I'm sorry I'm uh, not considering the context was consolidation major and this can make a big candle like this okay which is the tentative also like this one tentative breakout you see this is going back this is going back but this is strong up this is looking like retracement because in here was a consolidation due to this kind of uh, 100 EMA influence there so it's need retracement and then continuation so that, but that is not important the important is my entry so why I'm doing sell or reversal here or uh, RVB all okay here I'm doing shell I see this week I see this level 61.8 look at what happened to 61.8 in some kind of major consolidation it will broke it will broken okay it's not strong in this kind of major consolidation because major, because consolidation is the price only needs resistance support resistance it's not care it it's it's, it's it's not care with this any support and resistant uh, uh, for the most case okay uh, so but we have to follow the minor down the major uh, sorry the minor down the minor uptrend okay the minor down the minor uptrend okay but we have to also pay attention of the end of the trend like this like this okay so basically here I'm entering uh, without confirmation okay so this this is has to be confirmed like this like this and here here has to be confirmed like uh, here has to be confirmed like this so we can do sell here but yeah there is the reality so this is not good trade this is not good trade okay because all is wrong context here is a little bit kind of uh, FOMO or fear of missing out okay because I only see the candlestick and the level and the consolidation but the closing uh, when it's in the levels like 61.8 it also possible to to make extra candle like tentative if the consolidation or the major was consolidation so uh, the number two this one is the suggestion if occur on uh, if occur a strong winner down and strong winner uptrend highly that is major consolidation so don't try by looking like down 
formation of EMA okay this one so this formation down is it's really not worth it it's, it's still consolidation major so reason why loss okay not correct reading context major consolidation that resulting minor strong uptrend and not considering a tentative candle when the closing price is exactly on the level of 61.8 here okay I should consider it like uh, that the tentative could occur here and then a breakout and of course this is the uh, area of reversal because one deviation okay press reverse of two deviation press reverse of one deviation or two deviation or middle volume element this is a sign when we have confirmation like this upper and lower shadow and confirmed by BWIS that is and here was a big candle but it's not uh, be able to break the 14 level and confirmed by this bullish so it's range, uh, consolidation okay so what else here the clue due to not considering strong minor uptrend context in candle close at level exactly also means could be one tentative candle can follow so do not doing gambling for reversal especially on ranging <coughs> on major consolidation or major consolidation without okay without confirmation candle okay this is my basic uh, subconscious guess because I I often doing that before so I kind of yeah but the problem the main problem is uh, wrong reading the context is very bad because if we wrong reading the context we are mess okay the trade is like gambling if the context is correct and the trade is easy just like that but uh, we have uh, we have to have experience for this okay really without experience we uh, we will don't know this is what is this I don't know this is what okay it's like if if I'm not learning now like this one not be able to uh, breaking the level the weak level uh, it's possibly uh, turning it turning back into the reversal in form of strong minor uptrend because of what because this is confluence with the major consolidation so this candle now is my hint to read this strong or not okay if this was confirmed by this so this is not strong and this is will uh, uh, continuing up because the major was still the EMA is still major consolidation so that is <coughs> uh, I learned from this and here also here the tentative I should uh, I should uh, learn this from the past uh, from the past uh, I often uh, find something like this and here I, w I will learn like if this was a uh, tentative this uh, this breakout will uh, make like a reversal here okay this is like same one this is like a kind of bullish harami or pursing this is like dog cloud cover or bearish harami but the problem is we need the retracement because this is too uh, near with the, some kind of EMAs okay or consolidation here between level EMA level okay so consolidation and that is uh, the the clue okay uh, for the for reading the mark okay let's uh, jump to the number three guys okay this one was uh, ATM uh, I saw that was selling pressure I saw arranging at one deviation the breakout is failed okay the resi resistance is failed look at that what is this what is this breakout retracement okay breakout so this is what this is the concept of rally based rally that the rally based rally or RBR will be not working well on the major consolidation so what happened this bam okay because this also have upper and lower shadow 
and then okay this is a uh, kind of level I don't know if the price going here okay because this is some resistance and I'm following uh, the next candle I'm waiting here bam this is not bullish breakout so what happening this breakout is only tentative and could happen a consolidation here or a reversal because this is the level of one deviation which is uh, often have a reversal there on the ranging market so the lower wick is longer than the upper shadow so the upper shadow will become support I'm just wait a little bit it's going up and then I doing sell option because I understand the context at the time it could be <laughs> but that that's it so this is the clue the most significant effect uh, due to the end of a minor downtrend uh, minor uptrend so now we kind of know what is clue for the end of minor uptrend because this is minor uptrend so the clue is like one deviation could be a clue RBR is a fail could be a clue okay because RBR or rally based rally is not need a retracement it should be strong to going up okay because the retracement is here why it should be a doji there that is the sign that the, the end of minor uptrend when ranging with major downtrend this is major downtrend uh, yeah this is consolidation okay um, I fixed this consolidation the end confirmed by CBB not working okay uh, this is CBB I mean continuation here as based on RBR or rally based rally or this bullish breakout why is not breaking uh, resulting a bullish candle even this round number you see round number this is like level 14 again level 14 guys I, I forget it why the level 14 is not broken by rally based rally a breakout and, and looking and resulting like doji it's mean the uptrend is weak okay and confirmed by dragonfly doji with selling pressure at one deviation upper bb potential zone of reversal on ranging market or major consolidation it's true okay so reason why profit is correct reading of small consolidation okay when major was consolidation at the reversal area of one deviation upper bb after the failure of retracement bearish candle followed by the gray dragonfly doji that was confirmation of selling pressure because the resistant level hold was level 14 why is not capable to cross it to the round number it's just a weak level okay that just mean uh, this is the important clue guys when okay when the weak level like 14 is not crossed by some force like rally based rally like this one drop is drop okay it's mean a reversal like this one a reversal here a reversal okay and make sure the context the major the global is consolidation okay okay that's the good hint okay so now you know if you watching my video here if not I don't know <laughs> So my failure is my uh, is my ticket to success. <laughs> okay, that's probably the 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 good thing. Okay, here what is this identification of the relation between candle and micro level? That's what I'm talking. Candle and the level fourteen. Level fourteen is important. To identify identify the weak okay because we cannot uh, maybe we can but I I I a little bit uh, a little bit difficult when level like 61.8 okay it's not broken uh, it, it doesn't mean is the trend is weak okay because I trap by tentative okay but if the level like 14 
and the strong like uh, formation like uh, drop base drop okay rally base rally it's not it's cannot broken it's cannot broken a weak level that's mean what that's mean the consolidation effect and the trend is end okay can help much to identify the price okay so the level and the micro level so that's why I learn about the micro level when a weak kind of level is not broken meaning the opposite pressure involved okay yes this is one of the way how we should pay attention to the pressure itself okay so this is 33 percent guys on 21 22 also but i will uh, uh I will discuss this in another video. So, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed my video and bye bye.